<gasps> We're streaming! Plot twist! It's a Monday! <laughs> you know why? Because it's the Source Wall! And even though we're in quarantine, this is the exclusive and what? Source Wall Shiny Edition show! <laughs> <laughs> Source Wall Shiny Edition and what? Yeah. And what? <laughs> It's not, it's not what if, it's and what. No, and, and what. what. You know why? Because Kieran said we're black and we're geeks, so, and we're Caribbean. That's why. That's what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> and I love it. But welcome, everybody. I know it's, you know, a bit weird to see us on a Monday, but you know what? You know what? I'm what? And, and what? what? We're just doing this, you know, we're doing a nice shiny edition for all of yes. you. Um, it's going to be we're fun. Trying to bring you that extra content. So, there you go. Mm-hmm. Get in yeah. where you fit in. Yeah, right, right. It's all good. Hope everybody's okay. How's everybody doing? Uh, I'm okay, but confused. Mad yeah. sleepy. <laughs> Mad sleepy. Mm-hmm. Sleepy, confused, hungry, and just a bit weirded out. Yeah. yeah. So, see, diff- it's interesting times right now. But f all that. Let's get into the geek stuff that we love to talk about. This issue is. Would you like to explain, Rich? Because you're like the maestro of explaining things. <laughs> uh, well, and I'm too excited right now, I forgot. Am I? <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, so welcome to the Source Wall and what shiny edition special, the quarantine <laughs> simulation. Mm-hmm. Um, so, what is the quarantine simulation? Uh, we was, we've been deciding, so uh, obviously because we're on quarantine, we may have a little bit of extra time to um, give you guys a bit more content. So, uh, mm-hmm. and on behalf, I think myself and I- Isha was watching um, uh, Westworld. Westworld. Yeah. Westworld! And you need to watch Westworld, people. Definitely, okay. definitely. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> basically, the thing with Westworld is uh, you're kind of living in it. They, they're in kind of like a, a simulation, basically. And with us mm-hmm. being in quarantine, um, we're like, well, we're kind of living in a type of simulation now. The world has gone a bit haywire and different right now, so. Mm-hmm. Bit tits up, unfortunately. Yeah. But... <laughs> so we've got to kind of make our own world in our heads kind of thing while we're stuck at home with people we see every day, uh, who we <laughs> love dearly. Um, but <laughs> let them be out. <laughs> but let's um, so yeah. We thought, all right. Well, let's do a, sh- a show where we can uh, kind of um, just see what kind of simulation is the worst based on films or TV shows, and which one is the best living. Um, unfortunately, there's quite a lot of films. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we didn't a realize a whole bunch of them that I haven't even seen before. I'm like, yeah, new, yeah. New, me, new. me neither. No time. Exactly. Yeah. But I haven't seen them now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Them. Okay, you've seen those films. Exactly. We're not going to see them for a while. <laughs> those movies. Mm-hmm. Um, so what we decided to do is write down or get three of our favorite ones, or three of the ones that we. Um, that we know definitely have seen that we've definitely <laughs> seen that we actually like mm-hmm. or like the idea mm-hmm. of or dislike the idea of that world um, mm-hmm. so uh, so we've picked three each and uh, mm-hmm. we'll probably give a few honourable mentions at the end but at the moment it's just the ones that we are actually we, we, we are thinking about so um, mm-hmm. yeah so with that being said uh, Isha, would you like to go first and let us know? I will go first. Right, right. So we've got the film Twelve Monkeys, The Source Code, and Donnie Darko. Okay, mm. right. I'm just going to read a little bit about each, and then we're just going to have a little quick discussion. I love these films. Okay, Twelve, 12 Monkeys. That's a 1995 film, uh, an intense film about time travel. This sci-fi entry was directed by Terry. Gillian, a member of the comedy troupe Monty Python, and if you watch Monty Python, you know it's very weird. Yeah. It, it almost has a dystopia kind of feel to it, anyway. That, but anyway, um, the film stars Bruce Lee, um, James Cole, so and also Bruce Brad Pitt. Lee. 
Bruce, sorry, not Bruce Lee, Bruce Willis, sorry. <laughs> I, was I, was thinking, I was thinking Bruce Lee, hang on. <laughs> sorry, my bad. Wishful thinking. No, Bruce Willis and James Cole. And Brad Pitt's in there as well. Just throwing that out there. Um, a prisoner of the state in the year 2035 who can, who can earn parole if he agrees to travel back in time to thwart a devastating plague. The virus has wiped out most of Earth's population and That's the remainder... Yeah, no, it's very much, very much like today. Mm. And the joke is, yeah, there's a part in the film... Ten years from now. <laughs> ...when uh, there's a... There's a, uh, a uh, ah, what's his name? Like a security guard. He's reading the paper. Yeah. And on the back of the paper, it says, um, someone ate a bat or there's a bat that has a virus oh. on it. And it's mad. So when I, I was watching this recently, I was like... This kind of sounds the same. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> the virus has wiped out most of Earth's population and the remainder live underground because the air is poisonous. Returning to the year 1919, six years before the start of the plague, Cole is soon um, imprisoned but in a psychiatric facility because his warnings sound like mad ravings. <laughs> <laughs> there he meets a scientist, um, Dr. Kathleen Riley, um, blah, 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 and Jeffrey Goins, who is Brad Pitt, uh, the mad son of the emented, but I don't know what that word is. Someone help uh, me. Sorry, where we... <laughs> so after he meets Dr. Kathleen Rayleigh and... I mean, the virologist. Yeah. There Viro we go. Oh, virologist, yeah. Virologist. Yeah. Thank you. See, this is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Cole is returned to the by the authorities to the year 2035 and finally ends up at his intended destination in 1996. He kidnaps Dr. Riley in order to enlist her help in his quest. Cole discovers graffiti in an um, apparent animal rights group called the Army of the Twelve Monkeys. But as he delves into mystery, into the mystery, he hears voices, loses his bearings and doubts his own sanity. He must figure out if Goins, who seems to be a raving lunatic, holds the key to the puzzle. So that's 12 monkeys. Mm. So basically, you're a time traveler. You go back and you get put into a psychiatric role because people think you're crazy. That's that one. Oh, okay. <laughs> Source Code. Source Code is a very good film. Um, it's 2011. A soldier wakes up in somebody else's body in a train to find a bomber within... He has to find a bomber within eight minutes. It's a vicious cycle. And until he finds the bomber, he goes through the same thing. And if you wonder... If he uh, yeah. really finds who the bomber is, he should watch the movie. Okay, it's pretty exciting. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty exciting movie from the beginning. To end. Um, since within every eight minutes, he comes closer to finding the bomber, but the train explodes again and again and again until he finally finds the bomber, and it never gets boring. I really like that. Yeah. Like, you should write things like that more often. Um, so so that's the uh, just a, just just as, as a reference, uh, we got these. Oh. Uh, ref well, I got these references from. Um, uh, LeeCoweb.com, uh, uh, InterestingEngineering.com, and RottenTomatoes.com. So this is this isn't Ooh. our writing uh, per se. Yeah, yeah. Um, we're just giving you like a broad statement of the film. Yeah. Basically. Okay. And then the last one is Donnie Darko, 2001, on October the second, 1988. Donnie Darko, a troubled teenager living in uh, Middlesex, Virginia, is awakened and led outside by a figure in a monstrous rabbit costume who introduces himself as Frank mm. <laughs> and tells him the world will end in 28 days. At dawn, Donnie returns home to find a jet engine has crashed into his bed and then it gets weird. Yeah, basically. <laughs> so, those are those three films. Mm. So, right. <laughs> well, which one <laughs> do you feel is the um, scenario to be. I, I would say at the moment, uh, twelve monkeys. Um, Why? <laughs> because we're kind of living in it at the moment, and it's actually pretty worse. Yeah. It's like someone just getting into a coma and coming out probably in about next year or two years when we haven't found a vaccine and we're still uh, kind of uh, in lockdown, and um, mm -hmm. people have gone crazy. Um, so yeah, I think that will probably be the worst one to live in at the moment. Okay. Um, okay. A little bit too real, a little bit too familiar, too close yeah. to home, if you will. Too close to yeah. home. Yeah. Okay. I and will the say day, though, date even hmm. twenty thirty five. What was that next week? Yeah. yeah no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Pretty much. 
Uh, I will say, if you haven't seen 12 Monkeys recently, go and watch 12 Monkeys. It's really yeah. good. Um, yeah. But I will say, with um, Source Code, though, um, have you two yeah. seen it? Yeah, no? I've seen it. You haven't seen it? Okay. Because I was going to say, like, the ending is more or less him living in a... How can I put this? Is he living in a simulation, inside a simulation, inside another simulation? Kind of. <laughs> He's living in the continuation of a timeline that he fixed, but he's still in the timeline. But his body isn't. That makes sense. <laughs> Is he living so, outside of time? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, didn't, I can't remember but, that, that, that ending bit. No, so remember, okay, so I don't want to spoil it for Kira, but anyway, no, so basically, I'm not say what you so, uh, okay, Shawnee so... B is saying that he just logged in, oh. can finally say, mm. Hi, Sean. <laughs> I didn't like source code, it was whack, not kind of, it's blatantly <gasps> yes. Um, I thought it was okay, Sean. Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> no, source code was good because basically, they obviously he was a soldier, yeah. They took his body for medical experimentation, yeah. Then put him in a in a timeline loop um, to fix something in the present. No, not in the present. It was in the in the future. Mm. So it hadn't happened yet, but it was in the future. Or it was in the past. One of the two. They moved him from past to future. And then when he fixed the anomaly, yeah, he he managed to find a way to stay in that timeline right. but not physically as a human being just as his mind kind of thing yeah kind yeah of thing. so he was living it's like he was a specter in in uh, yeah living outside of time but in this timeline living outside yeah. of it but in this particular time so it's like he yeah. can witness what's going on around him in that timeline yeah but yeah. he's outside it yeah yeah more, right? All right. More, more or less yeah so he's living in another person's body in the timeline outside the timeline yeah so it's like <laughs> but then it's like I was about to say comic books, but (laughs) 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 movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my days! But yes, it's like that in itself is a little bit effed up because then he can never actually be in his own body because his body is dead. But he's in somebody else's body as himself, living in a timeline outside the timeline because he knows everything that's going on. Imagine going through that eternally, like yeah. That's weird. Yeah. Is that worse than 12 monkeys? Or is it worse than Donnie Darko when a giant, you know, rabbit person comes and says, my name's Frank. Mm. It's the world's going to end. And it, Do you want to just have some fun? He, uh, <laughs> he, he, didn't he sacrifice himself? All right, so spoilers, basically, yes. <laughs> for all these movies. <laughs> all these movies, yeah. Um, didn't mm. he kill it? Didn't he die, like, sacrifice himself at the end? Because um, I think the... the um, the aeroplane broke mm. right, and it and it lost an mm-hmm. engine, and it fell on someone, didn't it? Right at the beginning, mm. Um, mm-hmm. and then by the end of the movie, it fell on him because he he changed mm-hmm. he changed it around, and and, the, and it fell into his room, and he died instead of yeah. someone else. I can't remember who died at the at the beginning. Um, mm. Who he said? So I, it was actually, supposed to be someone. Go sorry, I was going to say, was it a girl or I can't remember. I can't remember either. But anyway, yeah, he 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 sacrificed so that you know the world can keep spinning because yeah. obviously the person that it hit in the beginning was of some very high importance, you know, importance. So the rabbit was like, basically, I'm going to tell you that the world's going to end. Do you want it to end, <laughs> or do you want to die? And Donnie Darko was already troubled. So he was like, meh, yeah. <laughs> so just you know, sacrifice myself. So yeah, so we're all in agreement of this one. Twelve monkeys. Is definitely the worst place. Yeah, yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, I especially, so. especially when you know that there's a horrible plague that you can't go outside, and then, you know, you get put in a psychiatric ward because you're trying to tell everybody. And that's kind of how people are sounding anyway. They're like, people should do this. Like actual people who have like cognitive thought are like, people should do this. They're like, oh no, you sound crazy. It's like, yeah. no, no, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So that's my one. That was easy. That get next. A, that made me had a thought. Like, say. <laughs> someone's been in a in a coma for nine months mm. like, like now and mm-hmm. they wake up to this shit yeah like, mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Why is that not on the news? Surely that's happened. I want to hear that on the news. I want to yeah. hear about the person who's been in a coma for nine months to a year, two mm-hmm. years, and wakes up to this. Like, to fuck? this dystopia. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's, I, I, mean, I know, COVID, right? COVID-19. Yeah. <laughs> what, is, what is this? That just reminds me of, like, the zombie thing. Like, every zombie, I swear, every, more or less every zombie film. Yeah. There's someone who wakes up in a hospital <laughs> who does that, and he's like, hello? Hello? Yeah. And he's like, first he stops saying hello. Yeah. And he goes, <laughs> <laughs> that's just like... That's Welcome to the world oh. of the dead. Welcome yeah. to the world. Let us break. Right. Anyway, who's going next? <laughs> I can do mine, I suppose. Okay. Woo! So the movies I have picked, I don't know if I'm going to explain them. Hang on you a second. So The Wizard of Oz them. is one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you don't know The Wizard of Oz. So the, basically, The Wizard of Oz, if you don't know, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Give us a gist. The gist mm-hmm. of it is this is girl named Dorothy. I forgot what, if she got in trouble or what, but she ends up in this, let's got, call it an alternate reality of her. Of her, of her she of got her, sucked her. up by a tornado. She gets sucked <laughs> up by a tornado. She ends up in this world called Oz, uh-huh. which has one long road that goes everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and she's, just, she's got to go. One witch, she kills one witch by accident. Mm-hmm. Another witch tells her to go to another witch so that she can go get home. Oh, and she has to, no, no, she has to find a wizard. Anyway, mm-hmm. that's one. <laughs> I'm tired, by the way. Um, the other bearded man lap after this. Go on. Yeah, the other one I picked is The Truman Show, starring Jim Carrey in his semi first serious role. So good. And that's basically, and this is before reality shows were like a real thing. This is basically mm-hmm. like a reality show when this kid, they watched him as a baby, yeah. as a toddler, all growing up for his whole life. Mm hmm. And his whole life was orchestrated to kind of be what it is. Um, everyone around him knows that it's a TV show except him. Mm-hmm. That's one world. Mm-hmm. And the, what's the next one I picked? Wizard of Oz, Truman Show. Oh, The Matrix. Mm-hmm. Yep. So The Matrix <laughs> is pretty much what we're doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, we're, we're plugged into, we're born in The Matrix and we're plugged into these machines and this is the mm-hmm. world we get. Um, mm-hmm. Now, which one do I think is the best one to live in? Okay. It's either between <laughs> the Truman Show. Really? It, the, the, the thing is, the worst and the best are the same two. Yeah, I feel yeah, like yeah. Feel the right. worst and the best are the same two. It's either the Matrix and the Truman Show Truman are the show. worst, or the Matrix and Truman Show are the best. <laughs> And I can't. The reason is. Oh, Wait a minute. Truman. I, so thought, you... I thought you were going to say the Truman Show and Dorothy and that Wizard of Oz are the best. All right, I'm going to tell you why I'm just not screwing around with <laughs> Oz and Oz. <laughs> you don't want to see no talking lions? No <laughs> tin man? I don't see no talking lions, tin men walking up to me like hearts. <laughs> no, um, what do they call? Flying monkeys. Flying <laughs> monkeys? He's going to be up there throwing shit at me. I ain't got time for that. Yeah. And witches. Mm-hmm. Mad witches everywhere, and you, and you have to wear high heels to uh, get back home as well. Yeah, just, I just feel like Oz would cause me like crazy anxiety. Like, yeah. Seriously, I, I'm just not relaxing in a place like that at all. I couldn't, I couldn't be there. I keep, I'd be like, um, I was a little girl. I haven't even. I hate fairy fairy girl. Oh, I hate fairyland. Yeah. Mur- I would be yeah. mur- that all sick. the time you know, I just couldn't um, deal with that place oh, that, that, that <laughs> so, was sick, man. that's a good alternative yeah, should, like reality to live in by the way I, was... I should put that <laughs> down the list actually yeah. <laughs> <laughs> alright forget Wizard that. of Oz <laughs> I hate Fairyland that's Fairyland that's... yeah <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're making the switch to last minute switch uh, but, um, oh. I couldn't deal with just that level of anxiety mm. the major so the Truman Show mm. it, the reason why I would hate it is the exact same reason why I would like it is because mm-hmm. everything is just basically it's this world where his whole life is orchestrated. His mm-hmm. wife, his home, his parents, mm-hmm. everything was mm-hmm. catered to entertaining the world. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which is just messed up. He, he, you know, he should have his freedom. He should be able to mm-hmm. live independent his, thoughts. Independence, yeah, live mm-hmm. just make his own choices. Having said that, this guy's life was orchestrated to please him at the same time. <laughs> yeah, true. Everything he got was was just kind of like 
for him, if that yeah. makes sense. Mm. He didn't live a horrible life. They didn't put him in a shitty neighborhood. People <laughs> weren't dying around him all the time. Um, mm. it, it, it was, they made his life one of those TV shows where everything works out yeah. in the end. Do, do mm. You know what I mean? Imagine living a life where, oh, you might have your problems, but everything works out in the end. Yeah. So that's where I'm like, oh, it's kind of, it's a hard toss up. You know mm. what I mean? Where it's good or bad. So, but, yeah. but, but I will say, I was going to say, like, if Wizard of Oz, Dorothy knew she was in a different place. That's true. With the Truman Show and the Matrix, they didn't know. Them man don't yeah. know. And two, yeah. got one. And one, you're not being this used as say. well. Ow. You're not being used mm. as a battery or for people's entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. But with, say, Truman, Truman Show and the Matrix, mm. Someone woke them up, There's a it? whole Someone. lot of ignorance mm-hmm. and a whole lot of bliss. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Whereas, like, I mean, you watch the cartoon Dungeons and Dragons. Mm-hmm. You're, just, you're just there, and it's like, oh, how, how can I? It's just constant adventure, constant anxiety. <laughs> Today it's a dragon, tomorrow it's a flying monkey. <laughs> the next day it's a wizard, a wizard or a witch who wants your head, and you don't have magic. You don't yeah. have magic. What have you got to fight with? A cowardly lion. Come on, that man. What's he going to do? <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Oh. Uh, Matrix. 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 This one is... um. All right. <laughs> so if I'm living outside of the Matrix, chances are that I'm. it's just going to be very mundane. And mm-hmm. those robots are clearly racist. <laughs> Oh, right, 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 right. Because it's a simulated world, and I guarantee you the social classings of of certain <laughs> types of st- <laughs> are going to be exactly where they are now. Mm-hmm. So I'll be a black man um, living outside the matrix. <laughs> 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 right. And unless I can dunk <laughs> or dance, it's whatever. <laughs> Uh, I'm just saying. <laughs> but now being plugged outside of the matrix uh-huh. one thing I do like about that it's a whole lot of melanin around me yeah <laughs> no. <laughs> there is but then if you're born outside the matrix what about that because you could never go into the matrix but you know your life is fucked because of the yeah. matrix then is that just as bad you know, as being that's in the it? Thing. They, they, they they they're in a horrible world. Like it's it's mm. really just shitty. And mm. I, I would rather wake up outside of it than inside. Means of it, Bro, yeah. I'd rather not know. If I make a friend, it's like, oh, who are you? Oh, I used to. I was born, but I was I went straight into the matrix. Mm. I used to be a race car driver or whatever. I'd be mm. like, damn, mm. that sounds mm. interesting. But imagine you were like this. Imagine you. Yeah, but were, you'd be like, uh, what's a race car driver? It's called driver. Yeah, yeah. He was a race car driver, but imagine I would rather be the guy who's what's a a race car driver than to be Louis Lewis Hamilton, and then to wake up tomorrow and I'm not a race car driver. <laughs> yeah. But you have those memories. Yeah. You were a racing yeah, car driver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. horrible. True. Mm. Nah, that, dead, that. Okay, so what are you saying? The Matrix is the worst one. <laughs> I guess so. Put me in the Truman Show. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Like. Put me in the Truman Show. All right. Best to worst. Truman yeah. Show. That's a hard toss up between <laughs> Matrix, Matrix and Oz. I, I, I don't know. Man. Them flying monkeys again. Yeah. Yeah. Like, no, no. I don't like yeah. it. I, I, name one positive thing about Oz besides the yellow brick road. And is it gold or is it just paint? <laughs> yeah, uh, pretty sure it's yeah, paint. Yeah, it's probably paint. <laughs> yeah, mm. it's not all that then. That's whatever. Uh, yeah. You get I to be interesting. That. People, you know, things. I'm gonna go Truman, Truman Show, <laughs> Matrix because it's not that far off from how I live anyway. In yeah. terms of not the bullet time, but I just mean like, if I'm a dude who's plugged out and then I get to go back, I get to learn all kinds of skills, martial arts, fly helicopters, and shoot guns. That's dope. <laughs> yeah. 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 Mm. Um, Oz, I'm just the guy who has to live live on my wits. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Enough. Okay. Not bad. Not mm-hmm. bad. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, okay, so shall I do mine mm-hmm. then? Okay, yes. so I've got Total Recall, <laughs> Westworld, and Inception. 
Woohoo! So, that, that, I feel like you've got the hardest <laughs> yeah, one. So. Yeah. <laughs> that looks easy. Rich is like that looks easy. <laughs> um, So Total Recall, uh, in Paul Voorhees' um, wild sci-fi action movie, Total Recall, Schwarzenegger, Arnold Schwarzenegger, plays a 21st century construction worker who discovers that his entire m- memory of the past uh, derives from a memory chip implanted in his brain. Uh, Schwarzenegger learns mm-hmm. that he's actually a secret agent who had to became a threat to the government. So those in power planted a chip and inver- invented a domestic lifestyle for him. Once he is, has realized his true identity, he travels to Mars to piece together the rest of his identity as well as the, to find the man responsible for his implanted memory. For he has mm-hmm. created a fast, furious... Uh, action film with Total Recall filled with impressive stunts and literally eye-popping visuals uh, so uh, through the film bears only a passing resemblance to the Philip K. Dix short story it was based on we can remember it for for you wholesale um, I need to read that book by the way um, the movie is an entertaining if very violent ride um, so that is Total Recall. The next one was mm-hmm. Westworld. Uh, Westworld. Okay. Mm-hmm. You don't have to read it. You know what happened. Yeah. So <laughs> Westworld is basically, um, basically you can oh, you can fuck. go to a theme park. Uh, mm-hmm. So it's got different worlds. You got like a Western world. You got like a samurai world. Um, there was a couple more as well in the in the movies, mm-hmm. but you can go to this mm-hmm. world and just live out your fantasy there. You can like go on missions. It's like pretty much playing a game. You can uh, go mm-hmm. to the bar, drink, meet women, do pretty mm-hmm. much the robot women. Right? Yeah, they're all robot women. Mm-hmm. They're all robot people. Okay. Uh, even the animals mm-hmm. are robots as well. Um, every yep. everything is uh, AI. Um, but mm-hmm. obviously they all appear human, they look human, you can shoot them, you can kill them, you can pretty much do whatever you want with them. Um, oh, no. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. And yeah, in, in the actual series or the film, they become sentient, they become aware, uh, they remember everything, and then they try to take over the world, basically. Woohoo! So, <laughs> um, so that's Westworld. Uh, and mm-hmm. Inception, Inception is uh, by Christopher Nolan. Um, <clears throat> so this one uh, is a psychological sci-fi action film about a thief who possesses the power to enter into the dream dreams of others. Um, Dom Cub, mm-hmm. who's played by Leonardo DiCaprio, uh, doesn't steal things, he steals ideas by projecting himself deep into the subconscious of his targets. He can uh, glean information that even the best computer hackers can't get it, get to. In the world of corporate espionage, Cobb is the ultimate weapon, but even weapons have their weaknesses. And when Cobb loses everything, he's forced to embark on one final mission in a desperate quest of re- for redemption. This time, Cobb won't be harvesting an idea, but sowing one. Should he and his t- uh, team of specialists succeed, they will have discovered a new frontier in the art of psychic uh, uh, psychic ex- espionage. Uh, they've planned everything to perfection and they have all the the tools to get the job done their mission is complicated however by the sudden appearance of a malevolent foe that seems to know exactly what they're up to and precisely how to stop them um so yeah this is basically going into people's heads and planting ideas and manipulating ideas yeah while trying to sort out your We're own trying to sort out your own, like your own demons. Yeah. <laughs> so which one? Do, which which one are you going? You going in? Which okay. Which so, um, they all kind of seem fun at first. <laughs> no. <laughs> at yeah. first, like because when when Total Recall starts, he's 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 the guy. He's a construction guy, and he's like, oh, let me go to this place. Instead of getting like a foot massage, it's a place where you can. Um, be a secret agent you can be james bond for instance you you know you sit mm-hmm. there and they implant you memories of being james bond um instead of mm-hmm. watching a film you experience you are the film um mm-hmm. do you know what that sounds like yeah. rick and morty's game roy yeah. <laughs> which one 
Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah right. Yeah. <laughs> well, you have it, man. They live their whole life. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I've, I think that's why these are my favorite ones. They they they're all pretty mm. similar in a sense as well because Westworld you go into a new world, and you can act out and play whoever you want to be in in that world or mm. play who you really are, which is the the whole theme of of Westworld in that sense. And mm. Inception is one mm. where you can kind of manipulate people's minds and put your own ideas into theirs. I think. Mm. Um, hmm. What would be the worst? I think if I was, uh, West I think World. yeah, West <laughs> Westworld would be the worst if I was the victim, as in the the robots in that world dying yeah. all the time and getting <laughs> raped or whatever, or killed, murdered, mm-hmm. um, whatever, all the time. That's too yeah, much. That's too much. Uh, yeah. Imagine going to a, th- to a theme park and you're just to say like, like let's go say you're in like the world yeah. or whatever, and you go and you go to that theme park to you know to play and you just want to ride horses and you know, you know, connect with the Native Americans yeah. or do whatever nice stuff like build a build a house like they used to do back in the day, and then all around you there's other players just like raping and yeah, murdering yeah. children and, and what, we'd be like. What the yeah, that's bad. <laughs> and then you go, and then you got to go see them back at work. Yeah. And they're like, oh, yeah, "What happens you know, if Westworld you know, stays you know, at Westworld?" <laughs> yeah, like it's like I just saw you like kill a yeah. bitch, and then you come to work and you don't know how to fix a photocopy. What's going on? Like, <laughs> too much. Yeah, I'm. So, yeah, I think uh, I don't know. I think Westworld will be the one of the best ones to be in. But um, oh, maybe Inception, because of what you can do in Inception as well, because you can. They were manipulating the force as well, right, and making the world twist mm-hmm. around and doing that, mm-hmm. doing that, uh, building like making the buildings bend and the world bend, and that would be quite yeah. an experience. But you can also get caught in other people's dreams. Yeah, dream. yeah. So if you're in one person's dream and then someone else starts dreaming and then someone else. Starts, that means you're in a dream. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a sec. Didn't you say in Westworld that the robots are starting to take, trying to take over? Yeah. So yeah, they became sentient. Yeah, they yeah. become sentient. So they remember everything. So yeah. they remember being killed yeah. over and over again. And uh... I wouldn't want to be there at all. <laughs> I already, I already have a fear of computers. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I've seen too much. Mm. I've seen too much, man. And like a theme park filled with robots, yeah. and then they start to take notice of the of the bullshit. Mm-hmm. And then, nah, man, <laughs> <I'm not laughs> like, no. first of all, I wouldn't want to be around those people. Like, or Isha said, oh, your 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 colleagues are like, let's go here for the work, do, mm. and then they're just raping comp- <laughs> raping machines. So I would just wouldn't want to be around those people, period. And yeah. then to top that off, that the machines themselves are like, no, nah, burn this revolution. Right. Yeah. yeah. If yeah. if you're not around yeah. those types of people, I, I think it would be good if you're not doing that type of thing, obviously. But if you're, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. I feel like you could go innocent. Sorry to cut you off. You could go innocently to a, a, a thing like that with it's, some folk with the good intentions, but then the people around you are just yeah. messed up, and you only right. find out. But that you, day. You, you play yeah. you play Grand Theft Auto, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is where it's so, Yeah, it's pretty much like that, right? You, you... I'll have you know, I recently <laughs> played Gravity Four or Five, and whenever <laughs> that woman got her purse snatched, I would go get the purse and I'd give her. You could do that. Every you could do that. They've, they've got robots who could be, who who are that type of. Uh, they, they, so basically, in it as well, there there's some people who like if you help them. They'll be like, oh, thank you for helping me out, blah blah blah. And then you go to the bar, mm-hmm. and then they'll come back to the, they'll come to the bar and say, oh yeah, so I heard that there is some diamonds in, or some gold down in the rocks down there. So you could, they, mm-hmm. they actually kind of secretly bring you on missions as well. And depending mm-hmm. on what route or what you say to them, they take you on different missions and do different. It's pretty much just like living in Grand Theft Auto, but you can't, you can't mm-hmm. die in that sense. Um, yeah, but you can kill them. Oh, but but plot twist. How about yeah? So you went to Westworld, and you did all that, and you're like, I could that's not for me, whatever. And then you and you come back into the real world, 
and then you get a text message from an AI computer that has your profile yeah. of everything you do and say and even though you're talking and like what is going on and there's a script of yeah. you saying what exactly what you're saying that's coming off on your screen so that a computer has been like so logistically I, mapping out your life yeah 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 for your whole existence that would be that would be messed up that would be messed up yeah nah. <laughs> no robots man uh, no robots i think <laughs> yeah westworld might be the best and the worst as well man yeah. it's, it's the best if you're the human <laughs> and the robots don't like revolt you. And, it, yeah. and it's yeah. the worst if you are the robot or you you think you're a human and you end up actually being a robot it, itself and you do and you yeah. don't know yeah uh, so yeah uh so what order are you, are you doing it in that yeah. you doing? i'll be yeah, I'd I'd like to live the Westworld human life. Uh, I, I would like mm. to be um, the person going into people's brains uh, and switching mm. things up. But then I, I'll choose the best uh, Westworld Total Recall and then Inception because um, okay. having the opportunity to be someone else in it, like a secret agent, or whatever, and going in and saving people, give these people air. You know, Ned. I I would want to do that. Um, mm. but at the same time I wouldn't want to be manipulated and Total Recall will probably be the worst in, in the fact that you're you're not who you think thought you were yeah mm. so that would be the worst um, mm. Inception would be it's still pretty cool I guess as long as I'm not mentally yeah stable. as long as i'm mentally stable <laughs> and you got a good crew behind yeah, you. yeah. And you got a good crew so i'd say westworld uh total recall westworld and inception would be total recall worse than westworld then mm. inception would be all right mm. yeah. Mm. Yeah. Well, that was good look at that we've been reading and we've got like 10 minutes <laughs> to spare look at us um, yeah. <laughs> Obviously, this this weren't all of them, uh, all the films. Mm -hmm. But we had some uh, some good some some other ones that uh, we thought we should mention. Yeah. Um, so we can just mention a few. We've got uh, Spirited Away. Spirited Away is a good one. I was thinking of that one. I was almost put that on my list. Yeah. Mm. But it was too close to Oz. Right. Now, mm. I can't be dealing with spirits. <laughs> and, I don't and, mind that and, one. And, and, and demons and shit. <laughs> no. Nah. My parents turn into pigs and <laughs> shit. <laughs> no, nah, man. But then it's like, kind of like Danny Darko, because he was like, I don't know whether Frank was a spirit or not. Was he like death or was he a spirit or was he a time traveler? Like, we don't know, know. yeah, he yeah. Just, He's just a person in a terrifying bunny yeah. outfit who came to tell you that the world was over. So, like, <laughs> was it already over when he told you, or is he telling you that you can help? So, yeah, I don't, I don't mind spirits. I think like Frank is a spirit. I don't mind spirits. Mm. And you get to ride a dragon. <laughs> That's so cool. Wait, Donnie Darko. I haven't seen that, you know, by the way. No, no, no. In Spirit Away. Oh, Spirit Away. Yeah, you get to ride a dragon and How tell the guy the what's it the um. The bottomless guy to stop eating even though when he was chasing her around the thing i was terrified <laughs> <laughs> like i don't I like remember i don't think i've watched it all uh, uh linearly i've not seen it all the way oh, okay. through um Watch yeah it. <laughs> I, I know the animation is really mm. good isn't it? really really good it's beautiful oh my god it's so good yeah. um we've got eternal sunshine of the spotless mind I've heard of that, but never seen it. Never even seen it. There's like a bunch on this list. I've made. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, let's so get through that this. one, oh. just quick brief one on that. That one was where mm -hmm. uh, basically if you had a girlfriend or boyfriend uh, and you had a mm -hmm. breakup um, and you can just basically erase everything about them, erase the memory from them. Yeah. Oh, really? So it is a great mm -hmm. film, like Shawnee B saying. 
Uh, probably Jim Carrey's. Oh. He says it's Jim Carrey's best, but I don't think it is. Um, oh, Jim Carrey's. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. That was probably his actual you know first what? serious. Was it? The, well, it's a 2004. When was um, Truman? 98. Yeah. Truman Show was madness. Yeah. 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 Oh. Oh. You know what we should have put on there, sorry, just sidebar. We should have put um, Butterfly Effect. Right, that yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, That's an okay. underrated film. Yeah. That's an underrated film. I feel like that was a good movie with a crap actor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it could have been better. It could have been a better actor. Um, but it was a really good premise, though. But yeah, go sorry, on. Uh, Sean's asked him what um, Ace Ventura, maybe, was probably his best. Um... <laughs> We got more. I mean, it was just funny. No, Mask is his best film. Mask, anyway. yeah. <laughs> that was good. Good. That was good. Um, I feel like really people good. sleep. I'm not saying it is, but people sleep on Cable Guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. They yeah. do. Cable no, Cable, cable Guy is good. hilarious. Yeah. yeah, it is. The Cable Guy. It's proper funny, that one. Guy. Uh, we should we should do a Jim Carrey versus Robin Williams like film uh, team. Anyway, let, let's go. Um, <laughs> Mulholland Drive. Um, I have not right. seen that. I, I saw that movie years ago when I was about 15 or some shit. <laughs> no. I didn't even understand yeah. it. What is it about? I, can't remember. I don't even know. I couldn't even tell you. Uh... I couldn't even tell you. I remember the talk of that movie was like... Yeah, everyone... Did you, un- did you understand yeah. it? Like, that was like... So, along, uh, along Mulholland Drive, uh, nothing is what it seems. In the unreal universe of Los Angeles, the city bears its schizophrenic nature. An uneasy blend of innocence and corruption, love and loneliness, beauty and deprivation. A woman is left with amnesia following a car accident. An aspiring young actress finds her staying in her aunt's home. The puzzle begins to unfold, propelling us through the mysterious labyrinth of sensual experiences until we arrive at the intersection of dreams and nightmares. So that doesn't really explain, like, that doesn't give us any spoilers anyway. Rich, that was the best thing. He's just like really well spoken. And he's like, really explain. <laughs> <laughs> I live for those moments. So that's funny. Yeah. Like, just watch so, it. Mulholland for... Drive. Okay, Mulholland mm-hmm. Drive, A Nightmare on Elm Street. Uh, yeah. Right. That's obviously terrifying. Yeah. I ain't trying to. Yeah. Well, it's Nightmare on Elm Street, one of the movies. Yeah. yeah. Right, I ain't trying to live there either. I'm trying yeah, to sleep. Then. Like, I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> I, yeah. Yeah. Do you know, I was dealing with Freddie, you know, like I was dealing with <laughs> by the third night. <laughs> you work him. I'm just not having yeah. it. Freddie, man. We need to do a horror one. We need to do a horror one because I feel like Freddie was yeah. bad because he came in your dreams. So when you woke up, you were calm. Yeah, yeah. But then he would come in. That's if you woke yeah. up. But then he start coming when you was awake as well. Well, That's what long. he would do whenever you were tired, like if you were tired enough, he could kind of. Work come his way out back. Just, yeah. Yeah, yeah, come out just yeah. enough when you're semi-conscious. But I'm not dealing with it. Like, <laughs> Freddie comes in my dreams. He must be prepared to die. Cause I'm, trying, <laughs> I'm trying to uh, sleep. Being John Malkovich. Yeah, we. How did this film? I can't remember it. Mm, yeah, I don't know. No, I don't think I've seen it. It's one of those it? ones that I know of that I've not yeah. seen. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see if I can find it here. So guys, elevator music. Okay. So I should have done the doom song. Do 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 do. Um. Okay. Craig Schwartz is an unemployed puppeteer in a forlorn marriage with his pet obsessed mm-hmm. wife, uh, working as a file <laughs> clerk in the sh- in the strange uh, floor seven and a half low ceiling office of the Merton Flemmer. Flema building in New York City he <laughs> develops an attraction to his co-worker Maxine who does not return his affections uh, one day Craig enters a small door hidden behind the f- filing cabinet and finds himself in the mind of actor John Malkovich able to observe and sense whatever Malkovich does for 15 minutes before he's ejected and dropped into a ditch near the New Jersey turnpike uh, Craig <laughs> reveals the portal to Maxine and they uh, let others use it for two hundred dollars a turn. That's <laughs> that's that sounds like a, that sounds like a horror horror film. That's that's, not that like... would be quite fun actually, going into a a room and experiencing someone like <laughs> just watching their life. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. It's a bit bad. A bit ma- but then can you manipulate them, though? I don't think they or could, no? but I think he found out that there was people living inside him for some reason. I, I, can't, I can't remember mm. how. Um, like an inside out. Yeah. yeah that's the yeah. end, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely inside out. That's yeah. mad. Yeah. That's crazy. That'd be yeah. too much. Anyway, go um, ahead. <laughs> we've got Blade... Got Blade Runner. Uh, did anyone watch the Thirteenth Floor? I think no. I've seen it ages ago, but I have. I cannot yeah. remember it. Okay, so Blade Runner, the Thirteenth <laughs> Floor, uh, Memento, and Ready Player One. Ready Player One, we love. Yeah. Uh, I haven't great. actually seen that. The Chucky. The Chucky. You haven't played. You haven't seen no, Ready Player One. No, I haven't seen that yet. I didn't watch it either. I just mm-hmm. thought. The, the, that's it's what I. Th- the bad fan service. Mm. Really. It's. It's like, for the nostalgia purposes, it's good to yeah. watch kind of thing. Like, because when I tell you he has everybody's license in the grease to put everything in this film, he has a, like Chucky's in there, Mario's in there, like everybody's in there. Mm-hmm. Like everybody you don't expect to see in there due to like publishing yeah. rights. Everybody's in there. So like, <laughs> just for watching it for that reason, and uh, more or less like the the message in the end of the film of like it's good to unplug right. every now and again is is a good thing kind of thing so message yeah, not, just watch it it's not bad <laughs> yeah <laughs> 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 yeah it's not bad it's not uh, bad momentum. again it's one one of those movies with like uh, act- actors could have been better but yeah, it's alright yeah. so yeah mm. I was gonna say Memento isn't really like a world this was just a man with amnesia yeah. and, and, a, and a camera yeah. like, <laughs> but I think I think one thing special about this one is by the end of the movie he could choose to stay with the amnesia or actually mm. move forward yeah. and I think I think for me I swear he chose to stay yeah he did he did, he did. He did. oh wow oh wow so, so, scared of life so yeah I think that's one where you kind of he's kind of locked in a world that he he kind of he, he created did. yeah yeah. Yeah. Mm. And um no, that bad. was it. That, that was it. <laughs> um Blade Runner. Uh mm. you guys seen Blade Runner, right? Yeah. yeah. Always rings a always um a few bells need ringing before I can yeah. be like, "Oh yeah, that cuz it's a lot happens in Blade Runner." Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I think but again, you know what? There it, to me it's Westworld. I can't be I'm not trying to <laughs> Coexist with robots. <laughs> <laughs> See, but robots on scary crime. Yeah. Like, this is one of the two. I'll We're not pick, doing it. I'll pick. Huh. <laughs> Westworld or was the Void? <laughs> Probably was it a Void. Right? <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Okay. There yeah. I'm trying to mess with uh, robots, man. Uh, hey, they're stronger okay. than me, for one. True. Okay, quick question to both of you, because I know it's like we're running uh, out of time. But would you prefer to have a world where there's zombies or AI? Which I'll one? Don't do that to me. <laughs> Which one? So I'd like, say AI. AI. Or Walking Dead. AI. Uh, the reason, like, when you said, I weren't thinking Terminator. I was thinking, <laughs> I was thinking R two D two for some reason. You know, <laughs> See, that, that's that's how he thinks. I don't think. Oh, yes. I think Terminator. I think I Robot. I'm, I think I'm, I'm still on the uh, Clone Wars flex, man. Clone Wars did yeah. sound to yes, me, man. Those cute little droids, nah. Yeah. 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 Matrix. Yeah. I Robot. Um, mm-hmm. I just said the other one. I'm not trying to deal with that. Now, with zombies, assuming they're not the ones that are running and climbing on shit. <laughs> What if they are the World Wars? We're talking World War Z mo- zombies oh. meets fucking what do you call it? I am legend. Zo- like they're like that in it. They're shifting, yeah. They're shifting and chomping, yeah. We ain't, we ain't got no slow zombies. Uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> Between that and, and and an army of robots and it, and th- there's no rest. You're not resting at all. You are I, not resting. I, me personally, I'm going with the robots just because I don't want to get eaten. I don't I, I, I would say, like I'd say <laughs> probably the zombies because the robots will probably have heat detectors and heartbeat sensors. Yeah, 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 and, you're, not, you're not resting. Yeah. I think, yeah, you probably get more rest in a zombie apocalypse than you, did, <laughs> than you would in yeah. that one. Because, mm. yeah, they're going to have heat sensors. You can't do anything. Yeah. Like, there's, there's no way... Our lives are pretty much 
we're on the internet right now. <laughs> Do you know yeah. what I mean? Our phones fucking have GPS on them, even when you turn it off. Yeah, yeah. You do it against a robot that could just hack it, that could just zzz, all over the You just the need an world. EMP. You just need EMP. Like, they're not, you, can't, you, can't, you can't go to cost cutters and get an <laughs> EMP. <laughs> <laughs> Life skills people, learn how to make with EMP and learn how to kill a live animal so <laughs> zombies can... At least with a zombie apocalypse, mm. there are times when... It, it, it might die down, or you you you, you just get, might get a brief respite. Respite is that the word? Yeah, respite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brief moment of just all right. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> it was brief. With a zombie apart, with a um a monster uh, AI monster. <laughs> robots. Oh, but AI. It's constant. Yeah. That's constant. Yeah. 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 Even when I read Age of Ultron, they were just <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> Marvel's finest. World's finest mm-hmm. heroes is underground. Oh my days. Okay. Uh, I'm not uh, so we're we're saying that any world with AI is the is worst. The worst world yeah. That's 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 the <laughs> And any ones that you don't really have control of. Yeah. Or with yeah. flying monkeys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh my days. So that was yeah, fun. That was that was not good. Good. We did it in an hour. I know, right? That's amazing. <laughs> everybody on everybody on the chat is like, we did it in an hour. I'm so proud. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, okay. thanks for joining us on this um, and what shiny edition special of the what? quarantine yeah. simulation. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll, we might come back with some more, like a horror one or a I don't know a. We've Children's got book one. Yeah. <laughs> on bundles of ideas, so just bundles. watch this space. Indeed, indeed. Yes. It'll be good. Um, we will be back on Wednesday uh, with our regular mm-hmm. show. Um, yeah. Hopefully, we'll be, it will be within the hour. <laughs> yes. Uh, we can't. We can't we promise can't anything. Promise. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, join. Hopefully, yeah, join us uh, on Wednesday around seven thirty ish. Uh, live on Twitch, um, we should have the audio session uploaded to uh, SoundCloud um, by Thursday, uh, and on YouTube on Thursday as well. Um, if you like our merch as well, because some merchandise. Mm-hmm. This is not our. This is not our merch. <laughs> <but this, this laughs> what it could look like. Yeah, <laughs> um, you can go to our. Um, uh, Teespring store, so T E E Springs uh, dot com slash stores slash the source wall. Uh, we've got some garments on there. Just type in the source twenty for twenty percent uh, off. Um, follow yeah. us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, uh, iTunes, Spotify, uh, Stitcher. But not TikTok. We're not, we're not on, on TikTok. TikTok. No, yeah, TikTok. we're definitely not on TikTok. No. <laughs> Rubbishness. Yeah. <laughs> um, smash a like button, give us a, a rating, a top rating, if you will, um, mm-hmm. and give us a review as well because it would help us yeah. grow. Um, exactly, and talk to us as well. Yeah. Yes, talk to us. We talk back. Yeah, exactly. Good. And conversation. Yeah, defo, defo. All right, so yeah, see you guys on Wednesday. Um, and in the next please, issue. Please, 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 please do not forget to bring a sandwich. Um, yummy. 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 <laughs> 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 <laughs>